typical swing states. I mean, Ed, we are waiting for Florida, North, uh, New Hampshire, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Virginia, Ohio. These are all the ones. We haven't gotten anything in. That's, that's the game. That's I mean, what we've, we've been talking about this for about a year and a half now. And uh, the rest of the country is very nice, and I'm glad they voted for their congressman and what have you. But these are the ones that matter. Uh, that's Florida, Virginia, it's North Carolina, it's Ohio, it's something else. Uh, that's the, how you get to 270 if you're Mr. Romney. Do you find anything interesting about Barack Obama winning Michigan? No, I don't. I, I, I always thought Michigan was a, was a, was a tough, tough uh, hunt, and uh, I, I think the only reason he went for it was because of, of, his, of his family connection. But I, I think some of these states, the ones we just talked about are the ones we need to win. We win those, we get to 270. All right, Tucker, your thoughts? I think that part of the spread you're seeing now in states with large white-collar suburban populations, and that would very much include uh, Virginia, but also Pennsylvania outside Philadelphia, um, there was a battle going on that was basically uncovered by the press, was ignored, um, and it was a push by the Obama campaign to emphasize social issues, specifically abortion. And it looks like in the early returns that that has borne fruit. The gender gap has been really stubborn for Governor Romney, and I think that's part of the reason. They hit it hard on radio, on television, you know, go to these states, and it was the first thing you notice. Abortion was the issue. Obama was leading with. I don't think I ever saw a newscast on a broadcast network that noted that fact, but it was a fact and, and apparently an effective one. Dana, what do you make of that? Uh, you know, the advantage that Barack Obama had with, with women last time around. We don't have the numbers all in yet, but it certainly seems he's winning with the women. I think they mapped it out very early. And when it, remember the HHS the mandate uh, that was going to change the, the way that Catholic institutions would have to deal with contraception. Um, those first impressions, that was not only just the first, the first radio ads, the first TV, but they had it from the White House. It's very powerful. It's difficult to beat an incumbent. And when you have the full weight of the federal government behind you to change major policy like that, I think it does make a difference, which is stunning to me because we are at a place where, like in Pennsylvania, 90,000 fewer people are working today than when President Obama took office in January 2009. We have a 7.9% unemployment rate, and yet abortion, which nobody on the Republican side was bringing up as a major policy issue or something that they wanted to change, um, is actually really affecting